another new game. This one is Bray Fight. So far, no sounds. We've got two characters unlocked. This is supposed to be, from the looks of it, very Vampire Survivor-like. Oh, it looks interesting right off the bat. Okay, let's start out with Frey. Okay, there are sounds. I'm guessing I just collect the coins. Okay, I only shoot side to side is interesting. Trying pressing other buttons. See the wave indicator? I'm just trying to avoid enemies at this point. Okay, I really want a wave to shoot up and down. What have I done? E old shop. Was this because I hit a button? Because I did hit a button. Or was that because the wave just completed? I think the wave completed. Okay, I have 16 gold. Plus one shop items. That doesn't help much. Do I just save my gold? Leave a trail of fire. That would be amazing right now. Other than that... Okay, so yeah, I think that was just the wave. This character seems terrible. When things get close to me, do they die? There seems to be a little bit of an AoE to the bolt that I shoot. So if I get really close to things, it seems kind of good. Surprisingly, the sound actually seems a little bit low. Okay, we have four seconds. This is very doable. I got a purple. Okay. I need something that shoots them. I don't need to slow them. Continue. I gotta actually pick up some of this money. Okay, give me that fairy. I want that fairy. I want to be able to shoot up and down so badly. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that fairy. Okay, so why this over Vampire Survivors? Vampire Survivors is interesting. I like it. It kills my PC recording. And the game gets really repetitive. Like, every run feels almost the same to me. I know there's a lot of new content. I do need to check it out. But there's a whole bunch of recent games. Okay, finally we can afford something that can kill things that are in a similar vein to uh, Vampire Survivors. This is one of them. I got a chance to check it out. This one's free to play. I think it has stuff that you can pay for like this purple currency up in the top right, but you can also just get it by playing the game. So that's like perfect. I like that. Um, To explode on death. Let's do it. And then let's continue. Okay, there's a big guy. have like a piercing shot I just need to be able to maybe I should just be fighting things more if I could shoot up and down I would feel so much more comfortable doing that okay taking a bunch of damage holy I just have to face my fears eat some damage get the coins and then next level up I'm gonna get a damage spell that lets me shoot a red ooze. I really want these purple ones too. Since I think that's like the meta progress. Yes, this sounds amazing. Continue. Okay, where's my flip? There it is. Okay, we're going to collect these coins, but I should also turn around and explode these enemies. Took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. There's some stone golems. I have no long I have no idea how long a run of this game goes. Purposely went into it pretty blind. And there are a bunch of others that I'm interested in checking out. It's just if I can't get a free key from the developer, or if they're not free to play, then I want to at least see that they... I don't know. 
that they're that they look like they're going to be decent. The genre is too new. They're popping up too frequently. Fires a magic missile. That would be really nice. Okay, I'm at 16 gold. We're gonna buy something next shop because I'm going to have at least 25 gold. Hopefully, as long as there's something decent in the shop. Look at how much money I have. Ten of the purples. I want 15 purples, 25 gold. Look at that. We got the 25 gold. Okay, I'm taking damage. Wonder if there's ways to heal. There probably is. But that's not a huge priority for me. I don't know my hitbox too well yet. I want to get into all those coins, obviously. If I could buy two things at a shop instead of none, that would be amazing. Okay, when I do explode enemies, it's awesome. At next shop, we're going to be able to buy something too. Reduce the cooldown of all skills by 5%. Flail damage plus 10 sounds really good. So far, movement speed isn't a big issue. We're going to have so much money next shop. Hopefully. Look at this. Let's go. I did take a hit there, but let's go pick up all this gold. Yes. Okay. The goblins feel a little bit quick. Only a little. I'm at 49 of 200 HP. If I can cause a chain reaction blowing things up, there's an ant. Why is a tree chasing me down? I have 40 gold, so I could almost buy two things. I mean, I could if they're cheap. Ooh, run through here. I'm at 54 health. Wasn't I at 49 before? 55. I have a slow regen. Just now noticing that some of those have, like, helmets. So the map is a lot smaller than Vampire Survivors, but it doesn't feel too limiting. Well, I guess Vampire Survivors is, like, unlimited. Um, plus five explosion damage. I do like the explosion. Occasionally spawn a healing fountain sounds really good, too. I can't afford both. I think I do want these movement speed. I needed to shoot that group. There we go. Holy chain reaction. Yes. Right off the bat, I like this game. For a free game? I saw a slight magnetic force when I walked by that coin. I'm hoping there's a weapon that's better than this current one. There has to be. Like, for the next character. I would like that purple. We can purple it up. I said I wanted 15 purple. I need that one purple to get it. But if I get this chain reaction, bam! There is a purple right there. Chain reaction, let's go. All the purples. How long are these waves? I haven't been paying attention. I have 11 HP. I'd like to cause one more chain reaction. Do that, I have to be brave. Face down my fears. Four seconds. Like that, those purples. Throws out shurikens in the direction you are facing, yes. More movement speed, yes. Problem is, I'm usually not facing enemies, but holy, we just became so much stronger. And I can finally shoot up and down. No, I can't. You can't face up or down. This game. Okay. Okay, I'm up to 23 purples. Okay, part of it too is I can kind of tell what's happening in this game versus vampire survivors. 
is kind of a mess. It's fun. I like the game. But <laughs> trying to keep track of what's going on in it, it very quickly just becomes either I'm killing everything or I'm struggling to avoid enemies and that's it. This one, it feels like I could put some thought into it. Maybe I can't. Those flying things feel a little bit quicker. Um, 16 seconds. We can last that long. No, I can't. Survived eight waves. Killed 859 monsters. Explosive damage was my main damage. So the javelin sucks. Continue. All right, upgrades. So yeah, I didn't look through these except for the first ones. More regen sounds pretty good. Damage blocked sounds amazing. Reroll cost does not sound good. Interest when skipping shops. Oh. I have been skipping shops a lot. 25 coins. Coin pickup range. Cooldown reduction sounds really nice. Crit damage. And I want to unlock characters. I think I'm going to take this one. And what are we at? We're only at 11 minutes. I think that means I can do another run. Let's do this. We can try Hilder. Or I could play Hilder next time. But the boomerang looks... It's probably still going to go side to side. I already know what this weapon is. 100 souls. I wonder why some of these have two things. I want Toad. How much does Toad cost? 200. Also, there's a Grim Reaper. Disabled. Nah, cool. Okay. Hilder, let's go. Oh, that boomerang does... It targets them. It tracks them, whatever. It's so much better than the last weapon. You can have multiple boomerangs at once. They attack both directions. I feel so much stronger. Sometimes the pathing on the enemies is such that they're like running away from me. Very strange. Magic missile sounds really good. Yes. Continue. So I could afford to take a little bit of damage since I have some built-in regen. I swear those spiders are like running away half the time. That's so weird. When I run at them, they seem to retreat a bit. I like that, that not all of the enemies are just like run straight at you. Boomerang damage, yes. Did take a tiny bit of damage there, but we're saying that I can afford to take some damage. If I can trade taking damage for picking up a few extra coins that get me, like, one more damage weapon... Okay, the early waves seem to go by very quickly. I would like these coins very much. So much that I'm willing to take some damage. Okay, I have 50, so I should be able to buy two items. The explosive is amazing. Armor plate sounds really good. Yes. Let's do it. With armor plate, damage is reduced by three total. I notice I'm hitting for less, I think. I see a lot of twos popping up. So that other character hits a lot harder. This is a whole bunch of weak shots, I think. But I'm killing things. I don't know if I ever killed an Ent last run. I do see the explosions going off. But enemies aren't building up enough for like a grand explosion. I want that one coin. 25 seems to buy most things. 
What? That's pretty cool. The flail is amazing. I wonder if there's a limit. So I now see under my HP bar that there are the weapons listed. If it's like Vampire Survivors, where you only get a certain number of weapons, or if you can have any number. Because that shows all my upgrades. I'm guessing you can have any number. I'm so glad I played as that first character first, because it makes me appreciate this one so much more. And the first character was still doable. Just, I was not in a mental place to think how to use that. You just have to be willing to charge at enemies more, I think. But with 35, I can afford everything, it seems like. Two spiky balls. I don't know if the spiky ball just goes out whichever direction I'm facing. Seems like it does. What was that? Oh. Okay. Feel very strong. Visually, the game looks really good. Hopefully, this shouldn't be messing with my recording, like the graphics. I don't think. I'll need to check sound levels and see if they actually need to go up for a change. Max health. That's a lot of max health. More and more damage as the wave goes on. I think I'm just going to take the explosive damage. Twenty-five souls. We need one hundred to unlock the next character. Two hundred to unlock the toad. But I also just want to get all the meta upgrades too. At least a bunch of the cheap ones. Let's go. I wonder if wave 10 will have anything special. Twenty-five, four. It does seem like there's a limited number of enemies that spawn each wave. Maybe. I say that, and then this wave, they keep spawning, so maybe not. The boomerang is way too strong. Um, healing fountain, more explosion damage, some movement speed. Keep doing explosion damage. Enemies aren't currently building up enough for the explosion to matter, but once they do... Explosion damage seems extremely OP. Run upward. I kind of just want to hang out in the middle of the enemies. Also, in regard to Vampire Survivor, I just like checking out new games, too. I mean, that's how I came across that one. And that's like a big part of what I wanted to do with this channel. Just try out new games as I see them. Killed everything. 
Plus two block damage seems really good, and we get the flail damage up. Has this become cheaper? I think it has. Every round does that become cheaper. I'll pay more attention next time. Okay, so it cost eight this time. Minute and a half. I'm also paying attention to how long the waves last. Red slimes don't seem bad. Okay, those green flying things, for some reason, they feel like they have slightly higher movement speed. They probably do. All of the little rats. These big green guys feel like they came later this time. Let's go. And I'm pretty sure I didn't look into the game much, but I think this one is like early access beta. So if it's still being actively developed, this is super promising to me. Along with like a dozen other similar ones. But visually, this one feels super polished. All right. A ring of sharp objects rotate around you. Yes. And this does cost seven gold now. That is becoming cheaper and cheaper. Okay. Map changed. Wave 10 is a big boss. With a ranged attack. That it spams a bit. Yes. Okay. And it moves quick. But I have damage. We got a troll. Ranged attack. We got it pretty easily. And it's dropping a good amount of gold. Holy gold. Okay, do we leave this place in four seconds? Will the coins still be here? Spawn a ballista that automatically shoots mobs, yes. Plus one shop item might be really good now. Do it. Okay, the coins stayed, the map went back. That map was even smaller than this map, I think. Wonder if that means that some will be even larger. Okay, I do have a ballista down. Ballista goes away somewhat quickly. So far, there's no kind of like items, synergy type things. Which is a very cool aspect to Vampire Survivors. Just that the game is feel feels like it's so like mindless kind of. But like the thought process is in which items you take. Where in this one, so far, there isn't much thought about I want more damage. That's my whole thought process so far. Also, I could see these early waves getting tedious once you have more of the meta upgrades. Feels like the game is very easy for a while until you start to struggle. Maybe. Flail damage and armor plate. Both sound really good. Um, give me the flail damage. It'll cost 10 for the next shop upgrade. Go collect these coins. Mm. 
The movement in this game feels very smooth with the controller. So far, I haven't felt anything that feels glitchy. Can't say that. Or the other game. I still haven't been paying attention to the wave duration. Feels like that couldn't have been longer than a minute and a half. These are close enough that I feel like I could get a chain reaction going. Did get hit by some rats. The rats are quick, but kind of... Er, but super weak. They're not super quick, just they feel slightly quicker than the rest. There does seem to be a little bit of knockback, too. Regen per second would be nice. Let's do that. Nine gold for the shop reroll. And yeah, it is a minute and a half again. So every four seconds, I get one additional HP. It feels like a lot of regen. Okay, but not if I'm just going to take damage. Getting the purple, whatever they're called, shards pretty quick. Go run into the center a bit. If I get a chain explosion going. I kind of wish that the chain explosion was like more impactful visually or had like a bigger sound. Especially as you kill more and more with it. Still don't understand the spiders when they come at me and when they run away. Do they just, if I stood still and didn't do anything? Okay, their pathing isn't like in response to what I'm doing. Berserk. Ooh. Berserk sounds amazing, but so does Flail. Area of effect that slows mobs. Nah. We're just gonna kill him. Okay. If I could get some movement speed, I would take that, I think. I guess it depends what it's up against. I am taking a bunch of damage. I didn't take the Berserk. Which I would have been able to use as an excuse for taking damage. I should have taken that. I'd like to see wave 20. I want to see what the next boss level is. Okay, I think my health was at full before I ran back in there. Okay, if I could get to 50 gold in the next 10 seconds... think that was worth taking a tiny bit of damage. Item cost. Plus two magic missile shots. And berserk. Yeah, I want this. It's small, but if this run keeps going, like, item cost sounds amazing. Could get berserk, but... Continue. The 
magic missile doesn't feel like it got upgraded. Okay, it does. I saw five. I think some of them just overlap with each other, maybe. So sometimes it looks like it's three. I think I saw five. Maybe I only saw four. And I'm pretty sure it was three initially. I'm at 24 coins, I'd like to be at 50. I guess with my shop discount, I only need to be at like 49, 48. What are the chances that that shop discount pays off? So it costs 20. So it would need to save me like at least 30 gold to have been worth it, I think. It needs to pay for itself plus another 50% just because I gave up early gold to get it. Ah, <sighs> do I keep buying more of it? don't think so, just because it's up against the flail. And again, for it to pay for itself. I mean, the more of it I get, the more valuable it is. The flail seems really strong, though. Enemies are getting quicker. I don't like being stuck on the edge too much. Ooh, I want that. Bam. This is wave 16. My health is not getting back up to full at this point. Taking damage too frequently. I see a big crowd below me. I'd like to chain explode. Up to 80 of the purple. The first run was like 10 minutes. This run has to be quite a bit longer. This has to be like double. Looking over at my record, yeah, we're at like 33 minutes. Okay. More magic missile shots. Cooldown of all skills. Damn it. I want like all of these and can kind of afford them all. Well, except for cooldown. Okay. Okay. I <laughs> lost track of where I was for a second. It's feeling like I'm starting to get into trouble. But I have more armor, so I should take less damage. My magic missile got upgraded, right? Doesn't look like it. But maybe it did. I mean, my damage seems to be... It does seem like I got an upgrade. Going further and further into this corner. Not what I want. I don't want to take damage either. I want these coins. Okay, we got a chain reaction. The enemies explode on death thing is such a good one to get. These stupid rats. Listen, I'm not getting to pick up my coins. The stupid bats, too. Bats are like rats, but worse. I'd like to blow up this whole group. Nope. 
movement speed, but I think I need that explosion damage. Do it. Okay, mobs explode an additional time on death. What? Why? Because I got to level three with that upgrade? That is interesting. Or was that just random RNG? Also, it's only four gold for this one. Okay, now we're talking. Visually, the explosions became very cool. I got that upgrade just when I needed it. I have a chance. Still not great against single targets. But the explosions... were already so good, and now they just became over twice as good because they upped the damage by five and they explode by two, or they explode twice. So that's definitely the majority of my damage again. Two rounds in a row. Okay, I need to get some coins. I think it's like 23 to buy an upgrade that would normally cost 25. Just let me get a couple coins. Okay, at least I got the 23. Would like more? Okay, 28. Max health, bolt damage, spiked ball damage. Give me the spike ball. Spike ball goes up by a lot. Okay, I should not have ran right into the middle of those, but it kind of worked. Okay, because of those explosions, I'm actually getting strong again to where I can... No, I can't just run in the middle. These stupid crows. They, like, have little lunges forward that mess with me. Okay, now we're talking. Just gotta keep the chain reactions going. My gold is at 32. I'd like to be able to buy two items. For that, I think I need like 60 would guarantee it. Okay, I'm about to die. Just to try and get some coins. I'm not even getting to 60. Okay. Do I take the healing fountains if they offer that? Maybe. Those crows could lunge forward and like almost kill me right now. 52 feels decent. Need the flail. Do I take another barter? I don't think so. I could take the cooldown. And the flail. Okay. Why does it start like that? I didn't realize this was going to be wave 20. Not having any movement speed. Feels rough. Okay. And I'm dead. Survived 19 waves. Killed a bunch of mobs. Explosive damage was the winner. Boomerang damage. Really high. Flail damage. Lower than I was expecting. Magic missile damage was good. So now, with these upgrades, I could unlock here. Or... Did this go up in cost? Not sure. But blocking a bunch of damage, a lot of movement speed would be nice. 25% movement speed. Cooldown reduction would be nice. A bunch of these would be really good. I could start 
with minus 10% item cost. There is respec too. I just don't know, like, I want to see the new character. I really do. But I also want to get further so that I get more stuff so that I can get more stuff. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Compound interest. You skip. No, I haven't been skipping as much. Item cost down seems decent. Just doing more damage. I keep scrolling through like I'm going to see something else that's amazing. That's more amazing. They do go up in price. Wait, did all of them go up in price? They all go up in price. Okay. So that is very much like Vampire Survivors. I think I'm going to put a point there. Hit continue. Hit start. And next time, we will check out Ear, however you say that. So yeah, that does it for this video. Let me know what you think of the game. It's interesting to me. I want to at least try all the characters, I think. And see what it's like further on, and watch for updates, all that good stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.